Welcome to Fright Night, boys and ghouls. Only joking. It's just me. I'm just going to do a little reading from my new novel that's coming out in November called The Spider and the Fly. <clears throat> Schiller leapt back into the air. His shoulder burned. Unlike the arachid, he bled like a stuck pig. Look what you did to my coat, he said. Yield or you'll lose more than your coat, she replied, as she thrust the smoking hand cannon through her belt and took a two-handed grip on her sword. Thank you for the advice, sweetling, but the bounty I collect from old pork chop, your father, will more than cover the cost. He was pleased to see her smile fade. Given the choice, he wouldn't fight her. Given the choice, he would absent himself with all haste. But he was in the hole for a hundred and five crowns, and more importantly, the bastard Blake owed him a fire lance for its value in flesh. Such a pity that he had to kill her. On another day, in another place, he wouldn't mind seeing what else beside claw she kept tucked under those skirts. I'll tell you what, miss. I like a girl with spunk. How about you just move off? I won't tell your dear papa you were even here. What say you? He affected a casual air while he got his breath back, mindful of the fucking claws now tucked beneath her skirts. She pointed to his shoulder with her sword. I say you would be wise to take the wound as a warning. He glanced down, marvelled sadly at the way the rent silk absorbed his claret. Of what? Your hatred of exquisite tailoring? This is not your business, mercenary, she said as she advanced. He backed away. Oh, but you are mistaken, dear lady. Collecting bounties is absolutely my business. Aside of bringing joy to the world with my wit, charm and sartorial elegance, it is literally what I do. This is a matter of family honour. He shrugged. Yeah, perhaps to you. To me, it's just another job. He smiled in a bit to show there were no hard feelings, to put her at ease, nay, perhaps even charm the wench. Clearly not in the mood to be reasonable or charmed, she sprang at him, blotting out the light with her enormous body. Arachids had so many advantages when it came to natural armaments. All he had was speed and brilliance. It just wasn't fair. He performed a quick cross-step to the right, avoiding her raking claws and forcing her off her line of attack. She twisted, but the compensation wasn't enough and she swung her blade wide of the mark. He leapt, got a footing on one of her legs, and with a little help from his wings, extended and thrust, intent on skewering her in the chest. It was an excellent attempt. But she got her arm in the way, and he sliced across her, across her bicep instead. A wine spout of blood sprayed him. The arachid flushed, bit back a cry of pain, and kicked out. If he hadn't had wings, she would have splattered him against the wall of the cellar dive. An ironic death, as someone called the mosquito. As it was, he only tore the tip of a wing. His bleeding shoulder, however, was another matter. It was time to up his game. And now, it's time for you all to shove off. That's it. That's all you're getting. Go on. Go eat your sweeties. Play with your pumpkins. Do all those fun Halloween things. Ta-ra. Adios. See you soon. Bye-bye.